Yo what's up guys, today we are restarting an old series of mine where we aim to get every single unique boss drop. I've been wanting to bring this series back for a while now, I just haven't been playing RuneScape over the summer. But now I have a lot more free time again and it's just time to get back on the grind. So let me explain how this is going to work, it's going to be in kind of like a controlled manner. I'll be doing this in stages and each stage will have three different bosses in it. As you can see in this one we're starting off with Kriara, QBD and Commander Ziliana. In order for me to move on to the next stage I must get all the unique items from at least two of these bosses. After I've done that I will have unlocked stage 2 and then the boss that didn't get completed from the previous stage will also be moved on to stage 2 and it will also be joined by two new bosses. So for example if I complete Kriara and QBD in this stage, stage 2 will also have Commander Ziliana and two new bosses, however in that next stage I can't skip over Commander Ziliana, I've made a rule for myself saying that a boss can only be moved onto one other stage. So in that next stage in order to move onto stage 3 I would have had to complete Commander Ziliana and one of the other new bosses. Hopefully this makes sense so far, if you don't understand it just try to listen to the explanation again. It's a pretty easy concept once you know it. I think doing it this way just makes it a lot easier for you guys to understand and follow and it's a lot more fun just to watch as well. And also every episode will consist of 15 hours of bossing and I can use these 15 hours on whichever bosses that I please. I can do 555 which is what I'm going to be doing in this episode just to start off. So 5 hours at Kree, QBD and Commander Ziliana. But let's just say that we complete Kriara in like the first hour for example. There's no reason to spend 4 more hours at Kriara. So if that does end up being the case and we get extremely lucky like that, which I highly doubt, then obviously I'll put those hours into some of the other bosses. So yeah, hopefully this first episode goes well, I've been really excited to bring this series back. And without further ado, let's look at what items that we're looking to get from Kriara. We're looking to get the armadillo boots, chain skirt, chest plate, helmet, gloves, hilt and the buckler. So there's 7 items in total, there's 7 items for the QBD, Kree and Ziliana in this stage. So that's quite a few items from each of them. From QBD we're looking to get the 4 pieces of the Royal Crossbow, the Dragon Bone Upgrade Kit, a Visage and the Dragon Kite Shield. And finally from Ziliana we're looking to get the Sourdome and Hilt, the main hand and offhand of the Armadillo Crossbow, the Sourdome and Sword and the 3 Sourdome Necklaces. So like I said earlier we're going to do 5 hours of each, let's begin from left to right with Kriara. Oh shit, so this is going to be the first drop of the series that we've just gotten and that is Armadil Boots. This must have been like, what, the 6th kill, 7th kill? So already we are off to a very good start. They're currently worth around 3.1 mil, so that's pretty damn nice. And yeah, like I said, we've literally just begun 6 or 7 kills in, I can't remember which one it was. And we've ended up getting a unique drop already, so I'm really pleased with that. Hey, there we go, the first effigy of this series also. Probably going to end up getting quite a lot of these over the next few episodes. So yeah, I guess that's just some free Slayer XP whilst I go bossing. Okay, so we're done with the first hour of this bossing series and we managed to get Armadil boots and an effigy all in that one hour. So it's going pretty well so far, let's see what we can do for the rest of the time. Oh, we got another drop, but unfortunately it's the Armadil boots again, so now I've got two pairs of them. I mean, I can't really complain, it is another 3.1 mil. However, for this series it does kind of suck because we need every single unique item, but I mean, I ain't going to complain too much, it's been a very good start to this next hour. Oh yes, we get yet another drop and it's a really good one, it's the Armadil chain skirt. So within the first one and a half hours of this new series, I've gotten two Armadil boots and an Armadil chain skirt. That's really damn good. This is honestly why I consider Kriara one of my favorite bosses, just because I'm really lucky here. And on top of that, a lot of the time, I usually get a lot of effigies and it's usually just like quite easy to do as well. Like right now, I'm barely concentrating on it and I'm just like watching something and doing something on my other screen. So yeah, this is definitely the ideal start. Oh, we get yet another drop and it's the Armadil helmet this time. This is currently around 25 minutes into the third hour. And yeah, once again, another big one to knock off the list. We're knocking quite a few off, up to three unique drops already. And also, as you can see in the chat log, we also hit 80 million XP in range. So we're just getting drops and we're just hitting milestones left, right and center. All right, so this doesn't count because we're not actually going to go for the God Sword shards, but we did actually end up getting one 45 minutes into the third hour. Main reason I'm not going to go for them in this series is just because it's not a unique drop from each of the Godless bosses. For example, you can get a God Sword shard at each of the Godless bosses, but you can't get like an Arbidal plate skirt at Bandos, for example. So the drops that I'm going to be going for are the unique ones. So yeah, if any of you are wondering why I'm not going to be going for that or like any of the War Priest items, that is why. And we get yet another drop this time, it's the Armadil chest plate. Just about to finish this third hour and holy shit what an hour it has been. Got two new drops, the chest plate and the helmet. So so far we currently have four unique items. So the only ones that are left to get are the hilt, gloves and the buckler. Hopefully we don't just get stuck needing one because that would suck. Hopefully we can just get Kriara out of the way quite quickly so we can just move on to killing better bosses. But I guess we're just going to have to wait and see and I mean we're only three hours in and we've already been so lucky so I have nothing to complain about. 
We've just gotten another drop and this time it's the Armadil chestplate once again. We're currently 20 minutes into the 5th hour and yeah once again just another great drop. Not going to complain about duplicates this early on because we still do have a lot of time to go. I mean this is the first episode after all I didn't expect to get this all done in one episode. To be honest right now I'm just welcoming all drops. However obviously like I said earlier I don't want to be here forever just doing Kriara and not being able to get that one drop. But for now yeah that seems to be going pretty well. I think that was like my 6th drop. 6 drops within 5 hours is pretty damn good and we still have 40 minutes left to go. And there we got our second effigy of these five hours. Things seem to be coming down a bit now, so I doubt I'm going to get any more drops within these next 20 minutes. So yeah, that's good. That's an extra 60k Slayer XP for me. All right, so we are done with the five hours of Kriara. Let's take a look at the items that we got. This is the tab where I'm going to be keeping all the drops. I'm going to try and not sell any of them. For now, from these five hours, we've obtained an Armadil helmet, two Armadil chest plates, one Armadil chain skirt, and two Armadil boots. Really happy with the progress so far, I mean I've already obtained 4 out of 7 unique items. Only got the hilt, buckler and gloves to go. So hopefully we can get that done quite quickly like I said earlier so we can move on to better monsters. But for now it's time to move on to the next one for this episode, onto the Queen Black Dragon. Wow, so in our very first kill of killing the QBD, we've already got one of the unique items. So we've got the royal frame and on top of that we also got a magic seed as well, so that's a pretty nice drop in general. But to just get both of them in the very first drop of the QBD, I can already tell this is going to go very well. What a weird drop, look at this one. We got an effigy, a rune plate body and 54 rune bars. In total worth around 940k, so that's a really damn good drop. Hey, there we go, we get the best drop out of the way. We got the Draconic Visage, literally just start the second hour of the QBD, and we got greeted with this little thing. So very good to get out of the way. I think this is going to be the one that was going to be the hardest to get. And yeah, just in general, a good drop. 1.3 mil in the bag. Let's see if we can get some of those Royal Crossbow drops out of the way. We get our next piece of the Royal Crossbow, and that is the Royal Torsion Spring. So now we've got three out of seven of the unique items. Just need to get the other couple more pieces of the Royal Crossbow, and also the Dragon Kite Shield, and that Dragon Bone upgrade kit. We may actually be able to get all of them within these five hours if we're quite lucky. Oh, we get the Royal Frame again, but I mean, it's a pretty good drop since we got the Runite all along with it. 468k in total for that drop. It is a duplicate, but still, I'm pretty happy with it. Yet again, we get another Royal Frame. That's our third one. Currently in the third hour, like 10 minutes into it. Hopefully we can stop getting Royal Frames and start getting some of the other unique items. Still not halfway through, so there is plenty of time for that to happen. Hey, there we go, just a couple of kills later after that Royal Frame, and we ended up getting a Royal Sight. So now we only have one piece to go of the Royal Crossbow, and then we also need the Dragon Kite Shield and the Upgrade Kit. So just like Kriara, we already have four unique items, three left to go, two hours and a half left to go. Let's see if we can do it. We've got the Royal Sight again, another one of those drops. We seem to be getting quite a few unique item drops. I think you get quite a lot from QBD. At least these are a lot more common than like Armadil items and Saradoman items and stuff like that. So thankfully everything is going well so far. There we go, we get another one of the unique drops, and this time we get the Dragon Bone Upgrade Kit, only the Dragon Kite Shield, and the other part of the Royal Crossbow left to go. And here we get our fourth Royal Frame. Got an hour and 15 minutes left, so hopefully we can get at least the last part of the Royal Crossbow. If not that, then at least the Dragon Kite Shield. Hopefully we can just get at least one of them, and then we'll have a very easy time here next episode. And we get another repeat, this time it's the Royal Sight. Only two minutes left of this fourth hour, and then we move on to the final one. Oh shit, we get our second visage. I honestly thought this one was going to be the hardest one to get, but it turns out it wasn't. We've already got two of them. A nice 1.3 mil in the bag just from this drop alone. So all in all, really happy with that drop. Oh shit, we just got another visage. Must have been like 15 minutes since the last one. You see, now these duplicates, I don't mind. I mean, if I get the Royal Crossbow duplicates, then it kind of sucks. But visages, you know, just keep them coming. I will gladly take them. There we go, the final piece of the Royal Crossbow, the Royal Bolt Stabilizer. 15 minutes left to go. All we need now is the Dragon Kite Shield. Who knows, maybe we can get it in these next, like, six or so kills? I doubt it, but you never know. Even if we don't, next episode, we'll only need to get one item from the QBD. Seven minutes left, and we get another Royal Sight. We didn't end up getting any more drops, but we still did very well in those five hours. Let's just take a look at what we got here. We got three Visages, four Royal Frames, one Torsion Spring, four Royal Sights, one Royal Bolt Stabilizer, and one Dragon Bone Upgrade Kit. So like I said earlier, all we need now is the Dragon Kite Shield, and we'll be completely done with QBD. Hopefully we can get that quite quickly in the next episode, and hopefully it's not just a drop that we're just never going to get. You know, something that you're just like grinding out for for hours and hours, and then just never get it. Yeah, hopefully it's not one of those. But for now, it's time to move on to the next boss, which is Commander Ziliana. The first drop comes 20 minutes in and it's an effigy, so not really one of the unique items. It's just some free Slayer XP once again. But yeah, hopefully that first unique item drop will come very soon. 
Four minutes left of this first hour and we've ended up getting another effigy. No unique items just yet, hopefully the next hour is going to be a lot better. And yet another effigy, what the hell is going on? Hopefully I don't get only effigies during these five hours. I do want some unique drops in there, but I mean just from these three effigies alone I've gotten like 180k Slayer XP. And that's just from the Dragonkin lamp at the end, that's not even including like all the effigy XP. So yeah, nothing really to complain about there. Hey, we got our first drop and it's the Ceridomin's Whisper, so one of the three amulets. Not really a high valued item, but it is a unique item nonetheless. Just got this shortly after we got that last effigy. So hopefully this drop has broken the seal for the rest of the drops to just come piling through. And yet another effigy, bloody hell. That is the fourth one in under two hours. Hey, just keep them coming, I don't mind. Hey, we get another drop, and it is the Saradomin Sword this time. For some reason, no loot beam or, like, message appears in the chat whenever you get a Saradomin Sword. It's very weird that it happens with the necklace, but not this sword. But nonetheless, we're about to finish the second hour, and we've got two unique drops so far. Hey, we got another unique drop, and that is the Saradomin Sword yet again. Not really too ecstatic with this one just because it's not really worth anything. If it was worth a bit more then obviously I'd be happy. But unfortunately it's not. So we're just in the final 20 minutes of the third hour. Two hours and 20 minutes to go. And there we go. We get the best drop that we possibly can from Commander Zeliana. We get the Saradomin Hilt which is currently worth around 13 mil. Now this is one of the items that I would not mind getting more than once. 13 mil is a lot of money especially from a God Wars Dungeon 1 boss. So we now have three unique items from Commander Zeliana in total. Alright we're done with the five hours of Commander Zeliana now. We got no more drops after that hilt. Let's go to a rundown of what happened during this episode. We started off at Kriara and the first drop that we got were Armadil boots, then we got an Armadil chain skirt, an Armadil helmet and an Armadil chest plate. Also within those five hours we also got another duplicate of the Armadil chest plate and another pair of Armadil boots. With the QBD, the first item that we got was the Royal Frame. Then surprisingly enough, we got a Visage after that. Then we got the Spring and the Sight. The Dragon Bone upgrade kit followed shortly after. And then finally, to finish it off, we managed to collect all the Royal Crossbow pieces once we got the Stabilizer at the end. Also, there were quite a lot of duplicates for the QBD. We got four Royal Frames, four Royal Sights, and surprisingly, three Visages. So we did get extremely lucky with those. And for the QBD, all we have is the Dragon Kite Shield left to go. And finally, for Commander Ziliana, we ended up getting the Saradomin's Whisper, two Saradomin Swords, and a Saradomin hilt. Really happy that we got the hilt out the way, it's just the most expensive item. Even if we get that as a duplicate, I mean, I'm extremely happy because that'll be another 13 mil. So all in all, great progress made in this first episode. Also, just in case some of you are wondering how many kills we got at each respective boss, we got 247 Kriara kills, 125 QBD kills, and 293 Commander Ziliana kills. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this first episode. I really hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it. Hopefully by next episode, we'll be able to move on to stage two because I mean, QBD, all we need is the Dragon Kite Shield, like I said. And then you never know, maybe we get quite lucky at Kriara and then we can just use some of QBD's hours into Kriara or Saradomin. And just in case we do manage to move on to stage two within those 15 hours in the next episode, please let me know what bosses that you'd like to see in stage two. And no, I'm not going to add any bosses like Araxor or Telos for the stage two. It's too early to add those big guys. Just think like God of Dungeon 1 or God was Dungeon 2 monsters for now because I kind of want the stages to get more difficult as they go on. But anyway guys, like I said, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you are new around here and I shall see you in the next video. Peace!